Hello my friends, I welcome all of you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. And I welcome all of you 96,000 star seeds, light workers and wanderers from all over the world. And in today's session, it's a wonderful session. Uh, basically, in today's session, I have channeled the Galactic Federation to answer your queries, which uh, you had voted on on the poll on this channel. And the basic thing is I have asked the three questions. The first one is about the Looking Glass event number seven. So this session not only includes the Looking Glass event number seven, which is going to happen in the month of October, but also they have given an update of what actually happened behind the scenes, okay, from the period of September 21st to September 29th. This is mind-blowing information. What they have given is they have described in detail what actually happened when we did the meditations. We did the meditations during, uh, you know, September 21st. We prevented many events. It seems like that, okay? There was a hidden uh, battle which was going on behind the scenes, which uh, we were not aware until today. They have described about that as well. And also uh, in this session, they talk about the looking glass event number seven and how can we stop it, okay? The looking glass event number seven includes uh, things about the Antarctica Crystal City which is amazing, I know, okay? And I think you'll also find it amazing. Also, what they've said in this session is, uh, we only have around eight years before uh, this old earth will no longer exist, okay? And yeah, this, is, this session is amazing, okay? It talks about that. And the other thing I've asked about is about what is the real purpose of NASA sending a spacecraft? It turns out that they are lying to us in our face, okay? Like they are lying to all of us. What is actually happening is discussed in the session. It will blow your mind. I was like, what are they doing? This is crazy, okay? Just listen to the session. And the other thing that uh, I've asked about is what is an oversoul? Uh, because I received many emails, you know, many of you were asking about, you know, hey, what is an oversoul? I want to know what an oversoul is and how does it work, right? So uh, this has been covered in the session and hopefully, you know, this session will clear any of your doubts. And also towards the end of the session, they describe a simple method which will assist us in ascending faster. This session is amazing. Let me just tell you that much. And before the session begins, I just want to say big thank you to all of you who have uh, got the uh, paperback version of the 500 page uh, transcript uh, of my sessions which I have done uh, over the in the last year it's in a book format if you want to you can get it the link is on the description and the other thing is I want to say big thank you and I want to give a shout out to Pete and Roxy for inviting me for an interview that can also be found in the description and the other thing is I just want to say big thank you to all of you for liking the video as it helps to reach out to more people more star seeds just like us at this time so here's the session my friends enjoy it We are the Galactic Federation and now we communicate through this instrument's vibratory patterns and we are communicating via the process of thought form osmosis which shall aid the understanding of our thoughts using the language patterns of your planetary sphere. However, we the Galactic Federation find it necessary to state that discernment is advised as the level of understanding upon your planetary sphere completely depends upon the level of consciousness or understanding of the vibration of the state of beingness. 
which is the primary factor which determines the process of understanding upon the our planetary sphere. We, the Galactic Federation, shall now address the queries which have been placed in the mind complex of this instrument. The first query pertains to what is the hidden agenda of the so-called by your people as NASA crashing a type of spacecraft onto an asteroid. We must state that this is done for the purpose which is unknown to a majority of the people of your planet, since the information may cause a type of mismatch of understanding of the happenings which are going on behind the scenes of your planetary sphere wherein the elites are using certain devices to camouflage their main objective and purpose. However, we shall I'll share with you the true nature of the reality which is happening and the understanding of choice is yours to either accept or to reject this aspect is known as by your people as double asteroid redirection test as conducted by the organization known as NASA by your people. However, the perception which has been portrayed to the common people is that the process of redirecting the asteroid in question is underway. And we must state that this is not the entire reality. These entities working for the elites and for the agency known as NASA have primarily undergone this type of program, shall we say, to send the first interplanetary exchange program with the Orions. As per the agreements which they had signed around 50 years ago, the organization of NASA had met with the Orion counterparts and the elite members who had given them advanced technologies to accomplish space travel and for the creation of advanced devices. These entities known as the Orions had given such a technology to the NASA members and they had created certain devices for the purpose of aiding the human collective in the journey of transformation as the desired by the elites and are the controllers of the agency known as NASA. However, at this time, a three-member payloads of the human mind, body, and spirit complex had been chosen to be a part of this mission. Most of the three-member mind, body, and spirit complex which were exchanged during this interplanetary exchange program were the so-called star seeds who were given the objective of exchange with the Orion entities who are currently residing inside the Mars planetary sphere. These starseed entities, however, were under the mind control which was conducted by some of your people and without their free will. We must now state that the three member human collective entities have already been escorted to the Mars planetary sphere. And now, the so called asteroid, which is used as a spaceship by the Orion Collective, will be switched using advanced holographic technology with a real asteroid, which can be sensed by your devices. This is the real hidden agenda of what is happening behind the scenes. We are sharing this only to provide the truth, however. Each entity must reject or accept it based upon their own inner perceptions.
Furthermore, the second query placed by this instrument pertains to the looking glass event number 7 and what event happened from the period of September 21 to September 29 of the previous space-time continuum. We must state that the understanding of this aspect of looking glass event number 7 requires the understanding of the happenings upon your planet within the location and under the Antarctica landmass. As known by your people, there is a crystal city which acts as a main residential area for the Lemurians and the Agartan social union complex as known by your people. These entities, the Lemurians and Agartans, have decided to work together at this time in order to create a light grid around the Earth planet. This light grid will lead to the formation of a fourth density, New Earth, planetary vibration split, which shall and has already begun starting from the location of Antarctica. These entities are working to help Earth in this transition period into the new Earth. We must state that, as per the looking glass artifacts, we are able to perceive that the next event, as planned by the negative entities, is to infiltrate on the Antarctica's crystal city by entering into the Earth's quarantine field flap. These entities are primarily planning to enter during the period as known by a people as 31st of October in the space-time of your planet during the celebration of a type of distortion known as Halloween by your people. These the reptilian greys and Orion allies want to disguise themselves under the cloak of a human bodily complex which is created specifically for this purpose and the only way to Prevent the event from happening is to shield the location known as Antarctica with love and light vibration during this process of connecting with the Earth's new social memory complex. This type of love light shield may be able to prevent this event from happening and the spreading of the agenda of the negative entities may be stopped by making other entities of the Earth planet aware of these plans. We, the Galactic Federation, would like to state that the Ashtar Command Groups are now currently patrolling the location. These conflicts with the negative entities is likely to continue as per the possibilities for the next eight years and finally the old earth will no longer exist as the new earth vibration shall be completed on the earth's planetary field if these upcoming events are stopped further this is the transition period to the new earth timeline we must state that the second portion of the query which relates to what happened on September 21 to 29, the events which happened behind the scenes of your human mind, body and spirit complex on the time period of September 21 to 29th of September of the past month as known by your people. Because of the expansion of love vibration and because of the spreading of the messages there was an increase in positive vibrations of the overall human collective consciousness which increased by 0.2 percent this increase in the positive vibration leads the 0.2% additional souls to enter the new earth and they have already established a type of location for the next incarnation in the new earth vibration reserving a slot furthermore there was an attack on the mars planetary sphere which was conducted by the Ashtar command groups 
and there was a type of sacrifice which had to be made by the Ashtar command groups. A portion of their social memory complex sacrificed their polarity by taking a love light trigger explosion inside the Mars planets into the heart of the social memory complex of the reptilian Orion, Grey Anunnaki complex located inside the Mars planet. This furthermore led to the destruction of the strongholds of the negatively oriented entities and a major portion of their social memory complex of negative polarity was destroyed. However, a 2000 soul collective portion of the Astor command groups was also destroyed in this distortion of battle as known by your people and the souls are being retrieved at this moment further the entity known as princess diana's soul was also retrieved by its respective higher self after many beings from the Earth planet sent love light towards Mars during the meditation process, the Starlink satellites also, because of the meditations performed, were protected from intrusions by negative entities. Further, we the Galactic Federation shall now address the other query which pertains to what is the Oversoul and how it operates as requested by this instrument? We must state that an Oversoul is usually a vibration of an entity who is in the sixth density resonant frequency. The sixth density is the location of the Oversoul and the fifth density is the resonant frequency of the planetary logos and the existence of other entities who are in the process of becoming attached with the planetary logos because of their learning of light and wisdom further the seventh density is the resonant frequency where the Council of Planets and the Elohim Collective exist. And the eighth density is the resonant frequency where the union with the One Infinite Creator happens. And this is the union with the Source. We must state that the Oversoul is responsible for its many souls who exist in various parallel realities below the density of its existence and the many souls who are members of an oversoul can inhabit any of the lower densities realities galaxies and planets while the oversoul primarily overlooks their progress from the fifth density and above in the sixth density wherein it resides. In turn, each of the lower dimensional expressions of the Oversoul is able to guide many of their personal incarnation vibrations on the lower densities. For example, the sixth density higher self overlooks over the merger of the fifth density over soul which overlights the lower fourth density expression as well as third density and second density expressions of the self by allowing each of yourself to become lost in the illusion complex of the lower densities you are learning your way to find merger with your Oversoul Self, which exists in the later 5th to the 6th density consciousness. Every moment, you are finding the way in which you can assist yourself and Kaya to return to the higher expression of the Self. We also recommend many of you that you at this moment are learning the many lessons of how you can perceive 
the incarnation in terms of emotional expressions. Furthermore, each of you has to be patient with yourself. And we must state that the other query relates with a simple method which will aid the entity into a faster vibrational alignment to the higher vibration as requested by the instrument. We must state that there is but a simple method of changing the vibratory sound complexes of your language, the words which are used by your people. The words which have different meaning and associations are the main reasons why many of the mind, body, and spirit complexes in your planet are struggling. In this regard, we must state that there is but a simple process, firstly, to change. Each word and thought form in your mind, body, and spirit complex, vibration to a thought of love and thanks or thank you. If each word which is emerging from the throat ray energy center is changed to love and thank you. The entity will find a drastic change in its evolutionary journey into the higher vibration of state of beingness. And this is the process which will aid it in the merging of the Oversoul. We as the Galactic Federation now leave you, beloveds. Bye. So my friends, you know, after watching the session, I hope you have learned something new because I definitely learned a lot, okay? Uh, basically, the first thing what I learned in the session is about the hidden agenda of NASA. What they are doing as per the information which I channel is that they actually exchanged three, uh, three human entities and they gave them to NASA, uh, not to NASA, to Orions. Like, what are they doing? Okay, I think, you know, what they want to do is they want to create some kind of uh, humanoid body. Uh, the Orions, you know, they seem to have made an agreement around 50 years back and they had given some technologies to NASA. So I believe, you know, as per the agreement, they had to do this. So they were actually, you know, like by sending the, uh, by sending the, uh, the thing known as DART, or double asteroid redirection test or a small type of spacecraft you know uh, they were actually trying to send three human beings inside it and the the you know the asteroid which we were seeing was not actually an asteroid uh, but it was a holographic simulation like what this is crazy right and um, that's what they said in this session the other thing that I found fascinating was about the looking glass event number seven. Turns out there is a hidden crystal city inside Antarctica and the hidden crystal city is actually a social memory complex of the Lemurians and the Agarthans. So they live there and they are trying to create a crystal grid around the earth to help in the ascension. But what the negative entities are they are trying to do is they are trying to infiltrate earth during the period of 31st October which I believe is the Halloween and they are trying to enter into Antarctica so I believe you know we can stop this event turns out that you know we have stopped uh, many of the events like which happened on September 21 to 29 we stopped many of them our meditation seems like to have an effect on uh, the consciousness of the planet, the consciousness of Mars, the negative entities, you know, they stopped many of their activities by becoming aware. And I'm so thankful to all of you, you know, who joined me on my Patreon to do a meditation. And also we will do a meditation in this event, okay, to stop the event. And uh, uh, what they've said is, this is really interesting. What they've said is, as per all the possibilities, now we only have around eight years left uh, for this old Earth. And once uh, the eight year period ends, the new earth will completely emerge. So from that point on, uh, there is no need to worry about any negative intrusions. That is what they said in the session, which is amazing, right? And the other thing is, uh, Princess Diana has also been saved. Luckily, we were able to save her from the negative entities by doing meditations. We, we sent love light energy to Mars. And also one of the things was that the Astor Command groups, you know, they sacrificed themselves in the battle, which is crazy, right? And yeah, I mean, I am very thankful that Astor Command exists, you know, at least uh, they did something to help us at this time. And the other thing about the Oversoul, uh, what they're saying is that the Oversoul is a type of like, uh, you know, collection of souls, I believe. They exist in the fifth to the sixth density, okay? Uh, I think it's similar to the higher self, but the difference is the Oversoul uh, is like 
you know uh, looking after all the other souls okay so i think you know i hope you understood from the session because it's hard to describe uh, exactly what the oversoul is and uh, the other thing that i learned is a very simple method of love and thank you so whenever you have a thought form in your mind uh, if you can change it to love and thank you you know whenever you speak to yourself on the inside wow you'll ascend faster that's what they said and with that being said thank you so much to all of you for joining in this session and thank you for liking the video thank you for joining me on the patreon where we do meditations i upload three sessions a week and i am also planning to uh, put a channeling course on my patreon so if you want that you can join my patreon the link is on the description and also thank you to all of you for sending past life requests to this email over here and the other thing is i want to say big thank you to all of you for getting the paperback version of the uh, of the transcript of the sessions if you want to read it in a book format okay and the other thing is i just want to say big thank you to all of you for joining me uh, in this journey of awakening. I hope you will enjoy this next video over here. Thank you.